Good blessed in Monday evening, uh, May the 23rd, 2022. Uh, the time being about 7 17 uh, p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with the universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. Doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't even matter if you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. Doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. Doesn't matter whether you like me or not. That's your prerogative. But I come today to say this. To all the people that's being attacked unjustly, all those that follow uh, my YouTube and any social internet that I put up, you notice all of the attacks that I have. Let me tell you something. I want to quote a scripture, Psalms 23, and I'm going to break it down to you. In my situation and my two daughters situation uh psalms 23 says the lord is my shepherd and i shall not want he making me lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restored i mean he restored my soul he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I would feel no evil because thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. They prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. They anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy should follow me all the days of my life and I should dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You see, that's a Psalm of David. That's not a congregational prayer. It's an individual prayer. You see, like I said, even though he, I, I, I walked through the valley of the shadow of death, I won't fear no evil. You see, the things that I've been going through here in Charleston, Missouri, and in uh, Carbondale, Illinois, with the lynching of my son, you know, God allowed me to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. You see, when he said walk through, that meaning that I'm going to complete the walk. You see, and I have nothing to fear about. And then when, when, he, when he say that uh, goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy should follow me all the days of my life. And I should dwell in the house of the Lord. See, on, on the right is goodness. On the left is mercy. You see, God is letting me have goodness and mercy to, on the left and the right because he sent me down here in Charleston, Missouri, 26 years ago on May the 3rd, uh, 1996. A place that I didn't want to be. You see what I'm saying? But he allowed me to stay here and go through all of these attacks for a reason. You see what I'm saying? He was preparing a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Y'all seen how many times my enemies came and attacked at me? Uh, from the courthouse down to the street thugs. Now, I want to show you something about goodness and mercy. I want to show you something about that shadow of the valley, valley of the shadow of death. You see, some of the people, we'll start with the judge that sentenced me in 2016 for merely videoing somebody on the corner of Wall, Wall, Wall House and Vine in 2016 telling children that I raped children, which wasn't true. You see, the judge allowed, I mean, God allowed me to take that unjust criticism because he 
knew, I knew, and anybody else that did their research, they knew it wasn't true. But the judge that put me on trial, let's start with the police that wrote the police report. He's no longer on the Charleston, Missouri Police Department. He got fired. The judge that found me guilty unjustly, he lost the election. The prosecuting attorney that unjustly prosecuted me on exercising merely my first and 14th amendment right last year, he died of COVID. You see, some of the individuals that been attacking me here just recently, March the 28th, 2022, right in front of my house, some of the blacks that been attacking me, merely because I'm complaining about a white family that was disrespectful tearing my bushes up. But just these last few days, these same individual blacks that got involved in it, and it wasn't none of their business, now people shooting their cob windows out. People's chasing after them, shooting them. Now, if they can get in this that don't bother, that don't mind them, it's none of their business, and they can come down here to try to attack a uh, a 64-year-old man, then why ain't they going chasing after these individuals that's shooting at them? You see what I'm saying? Hey, don't don't come on the property. There's no trespass. See that sign right there? Okay, okay. Whatever you want, I don't I'm 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 doing something right now. But anyway, do you see how God working so far? Then if you think back in 2019, two individuals coming by my house attacking me, by the police station attacking me. And look what God did. One of them is on on the run. They he he uh, is, they say he's in hiding because he's working for the feds. The other one is in the fed joint, but they was working hand in hand with me. Now the one that's on the run with the feds, if you look on his Facebook page, some of these same individuals that's been talking stuff behind my back in they little crowds, he setting them out, calling them snitches. You see what I'm saying? Now it's a shoe fit way. But I'm just trying to show y'all one thing about God. If you're working for God, God going to make sure you're all right. He'll allow you to go through the valley of the shadow of death where you won't feel no evil. He'll anoint your head with oil and your cup going to run over. As you do his job, goodness and mercy going to follow you, not some of the days, but all the days of your life. You see what I'm saying? And you will dwell in the house of the Lord in the end. I'm going to leave it at this. Y'all just pay attention in Charleston, Missouri. Carbondale, y'all hung my son down there. I know the police department has something to do with it. And I know some of the other people, black and white, in Carbondale, Illinois, got something to do with it. But you know, just like God dealing with these people here, sending some to the grave, putting some on the run, getting some shot at, some locked up in the feds. They, he got something for y'all. You see what I'm saying? It's just a matter of time. In Islam, it says, by the token of time, through the ages, barely so man are being lost, except such as to do righteous deeds and join together in the mutual teaching of truth, patience, and constancy. And I'm going to leave it like this here. Peace be still.